Praise be Jesus Christ, we're celebrating the Feast of St. Catherine of Siena today. St. Catherine of Siena is just an amazing saint. She died in 1380, an Italian saint. She died at the age of 33. And she was one of the most influential people in her time, both in the church and even in the secular world. Popes would summon her when they were in a jam, when they didn't know what to do, to get her advice and invite her to preach to the cardinals to give them encouragement. And St. Catherine of Siena, when the Lord called her to this mission, which she carried out mostly in her 20s, a young woman, she complained to the Lord. She said, Lord, I'm a woman. I don't know if this is a woman's job. Listen to what the Lord said to her in response. Ladies, pay very close attention to this. The Lord said, in these later days, there has been such an upsurge of pride, especially in the case of men who imagine themselves to be learned or wise, that my justice cannot endure them any longer without delivering a just chastisement upon them that will bring them to confusion. To confound their arrogance, I will raise up women endowed with strength and divine wisdom. And St. Catherine of Siena, she did not mince words. Uh, Blessed Raymond of Capua, who, who wrote the life of, of uh, St. Catherine of Siena, he was her spiritual director, describes a meeting she had with Pope Gregory the Eleventh. And Catherine of Siena, check this out, uh, Raymond says, in the course of their talk, the Holy Virgin bewailed the fact that at the Roman court, which should have been a paradise of heavenly virtues, there was a stench of all the vices of hell. She did not hold back one bit. She reminds, reminds us a little bit of, of Mother Angelica, who she said it the way it, 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 it is. Now, listen, this isn't an excuse for the shepherds, the men who are supposed to be leading the church and fighting off the wolves. This isn't an excuse for them to abdicate their duties and responsibilities. If a shepherd whose job it is to defend the sheep and to fight the wolves, if he steps back to let the ladies do the job, he might end up spending all of eternity in hell. Look at the scriptures. We need, yes, men, uh, women to, 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 to fight bravely for the honor of the church, but the shepherds, the men whose job it is to defend the sheep and fight the wolves, if they don't do their job, that's a serious, uh, serious problem. Now, Catherine of Siena, in her dialogues, her revelations from God the Father, God the Father describes so many wonderful um, realities of, of, of Catholic doctrine, including the reality of sin, the reality of hell. She gives a description of hell. And then the Lord gives uh, just revelation on the glory of the blessed heaven. And this is something we've lost. Today, we love to speak about, you know, being nice and maybe getting to heaven and, and being uh, the best uh, person you can be and, and always being positive. Great, I got nothing against that but we don't speak about sin and hell. And anyone who takes St. Catherine of Siena seriously accepts the whole gospel, not just the nice parts. Now, speaking of the gospel, I want to quote to you, and this is in reference again to shepherds who don't fight. I spoke to a priest once who was in a situation where there was serious compromise, and he was in a situation where he could have done something about it. But he said he wouldn't, and he told me because he didn't want a job shoveling manure. He knew if he spoke out, he might lose his ministry that he really was attached to and was afraid he would, he would um, be shoveling manure. That's the way he put it. And when he said this, I thought to myself, this is frightening. He's willing to allow compromise to continue and the awful effects that this compromise is having because he's afraid of losing his job. What did our Lord Jesus say in Matthew 16? For whoever would save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. St. Catherine of Siena, pray for us.
Viva Cristo Rey.